I've been talking about this for months and a lot of people are not aware of what I'm exactly talking about. But tonight we get to start it. And I just hope that everybody understands what's going on here. This just isn't about AM. It's not just about a transmitter. It's about building, building. I want to try to get more people involved in building. And we're calling this the Pine Board Project. The reason for that is that we're building a, this first uh, this first run. We'll be building a transmitter on pine board. And why do I do that? Because you can see the circuitry. And so this all started with a very good friend of mine, who is one of the AM buddies in the morning, W0BVT. That's one of his transmitters that he built, pretty large transmitter, but he's on the air with it every day. And we'll, hey, maybe someday you'll be able to do that also. That's what we're hoping, that you'll be able to build things. And I appreciate Dick getting involved with this so much. The, the situation is we want to try to not only build things, but we want to teach you what you're doing when we are building it. That's the key. A lot of times we, we, we're not taught how to do things. Uh, we just do it. Well, here we want to try to teach you a little more than just soldering, putting things together. And what I've done here, we come up with a schematic. You've seen schematics written. And this is a simple, this first little project is a simple field strength meter. And I know a lot of people say, oh, it's a big deal. No, no, no. The situation is I want to uh, start this to let you see what's going to happen as we go into each week because we're going to build a power supply, a 300-volt power supply. We're going to build – a microphone preamplifier with the 12AX7. We're then going to build the transmitter. And then we're going to build the final tuner and all of that. And then we put it together. This is not just a one-night deal. But in doing this, we're going to try to help you learn a little bit more about the schematics and the building. And not only that, you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. That's the key. We'll look at this again. We see this simple field strength meter. It's an antenna and a diode, an, a very special diode, a one in 914, has a plus, and we're going to talk about that, a meter and the, uh, the, the capacitor across that meter. And then uh, the uh, potentiometer will set the sensitivity of it. Out here is a 2.5 uh, millihenry choke. Now, we've got something else we're going to do there. This is good for the low frequencies, but now let's jump to the next picture below it. I did a pictorial, and the pictorial shows us the actual part, what it looks like. That coil is one of these little guys, and uh, that's, uh, that's in the front end of it. Antenna feeds that then it goes from there to the potentiometer. And you all probably know about potentiometers and volume controls and so on. Then we have the meter. You know, we talk about the flea markets a lot. And everybody says, wow, why do you go to the flea market? Well, you go there to find these parts. Every one of these parts came from my junk box, especially this. Meters are tough. Whenever you see a meter, buy it. Um, this came from an old, it was an old mobile SWR bridge of Heath kits. And you just keep them because you never know when you're going to use them. And um, I, I dug around the other day to, to put this together for you and I thought, aha. But this is the capacitor that goes across it. And this is a 0.01. And the most important part is the diode. This isn't the diode we're going to use. But the reason I'm showing you this is it's a little bigger. So... Uh, you'll be able to see it. You'll notice that there's a band on that diode. Every diode is polarized. And we'll look back up at the pictorial or the, uh, the schematic. And that band has to be placed in this position. If you turn it around, it will not work. 
So you have to be real, real cognizant of the diodes when you install a diode. And so we end up with these parts. What do you do with them? Well, here's what we're going to do with them. I, uh, I did a few things ahead of time. Why do I do this on pine board? What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is you can see as we go through all this. If we built this underneath a chassis, it's hard to hard to keep keep abreast of what's going, especially uh, to to young builders that haven't done a lot of building. The first thing I did is I mounted some terminal strips. The second thing I did, I went ahead and mounted the, the, the diode. These, this one's a, a glass diode. It's very sensitive. So I, uh, I mounted that on. You'll notice that the band is on this terminal, the plus. So you have to pay attention. What is the next thing to happen? If you uh, remember again, there's a schematic. What are we going to do? We're going to mount that choke, and that choke's going to go over here and feed the, the potentiometer. So we're going to come back down here and make this all happen. We'll take that, uh, uh, that 2.5 millihenry choke, and we're going to solder that little booger. Uh, I got it all set up that it, it'll fit right in here. Get out the old soldering iron here first. I had it warmed up and going for you, so here we go. And it's very, very easy, very simple. And let me get it around here so I can get that in there. Make sure I don't burn my finger, right? <laughs> I could be using uh, uh, dikes with it. And so the chat room will be on there just beating me up on certain things I'm doing. Have at it, folks. The only thing is, is that I've been doing this for about 60 years. And uh, I love building. There we go. And now we're going to mount... The other end of this over here, I'm going to put a little bit more solder on that guy. Eh, I like to really make sure things are soldered. A lot of times you don't heat it up enough. you got to get all the components to the same temperature so that they all melt together. Come on here. There she goes. Here comes the potentiometer. Now, one other thing, the potentiometer is tied together, the, uh, the wiper and one side of it. So what we did here ahead of time is I mounted that so that we have the, uh, the potentiometer ready to mount. I don't have to deal that quickly. If we had more time, I'd do all that for you. So that's going to come over here. And the potentiometer is going to go in here. And we're going to solder it all together. And we're making headway. The one thing about the solder, you want to make sure you're using rosin core solder. That's very important. You only want to do this with rosin core. I'm going to solder the other side of the potentiometer, and we're almost there. Uh, one thing I did ahead of time also, I mounted the, uh, uh, the capacitor on the back of the meter, and... Uh, we want to make sure this all goes okay. That guy solid? No, 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 no. Come on here, dude. Yeah, we'll get him in there. And when we get done, we'll fire up one of the transmitters and see if it works. But what we're going to do uh, throughout this project is I'll be giving you other other projects, uh, the, the power supply is going to come next. And we have to be careful because this power supply has got some high voltage. Uh, <laughs> so you got to make sure you don't do something crazy and uh, uh, get lashed across the high voltage. <laughs> now, there's, you'll notice on the, um, back on the uh, diagram, there's a red wire that goes from the plus of the meter over to that diode, the green wire goes over to the pot. And that's what we're going to do here. I've already done that ahead of time. So let's take this green wire. We're going to put him in here and make it happen. And we're, we have one more, uh, one more solder and we'll be finished. And we'll check all these to make sure they're all solid. That's very important. And then remember the red wire is going to go over here to the diode. 
And we'll solder all that. And we got her happening. Let me get a lot of solder on him. There we go. Come on here, dude. Okay. And we have all of that ready to go. And what I'm trying to do here in this first project is try to, sh try to demonstrate to you how we're going to end up doing this. Each week we'll do a little bit of, it, of other things. And, uh, the the preamplifier with the 12AX7, the power supply and all. And, and you're going to be able to see what's happening uh, because it's all going to be out in front of you. And it, it's a wonderful way to build things. What's the last thing we have to do? There's one other very important thing, of course. We have to put a knob <laughs> on the pot. <laughs> now, once you get this going, when you go to the next ham fest, find an enclosure for it. Or go down to the hardware store and look around. There's one important thing we haven't done. What's that? An antenna. Well, just for just for funds, I, I just took a couple of leads, and that's where the antenna goes. Not antenna. could be a, a, like a rubber duck. It could be a connector and do it to a, a piece of wire or another type of antenna, but you've got to have an antenna. So what we're going to do is fire this thing up and see what happens. i got about three minutes before we got to – Go on here, and well, let's go up here. There we go. Let's get that going. And um, one of the things that that you always want to make sure is that uh, when you make your solder connections, everything is solid. You've got diodes that are that are right, and uh, everything should happen. And uh, away you go. And it's very important to make it all happen. And working that's so important make sure it works <laughs> but we don't know if this is going to work yet but we'll find out here in a minute um what we want to do for all of you uh, uh out there in radio land is, is i want you to build that's so important to make things happen that's that's the critical piece to me is to make sure that when you do things <clears throat> that we will be able to make things happen. Okay, let me go over here and get a little carrier happening. There we go. And that should do that. And uh, I got very little RF coming out of there. I don't know if you can see that, but I have. I need to have a better antenna on it. But uh, uh, there we go. I uh, I should. There we go. Uh, I just have this little – I should have a better antenna because we're on 20 meters and it should be a, a lot uh, a lot more antenna for it. But there we go, and it's, uh, it's one of those things that if you put this all together and make it work for what you're trying to do, the frequency, then things will happen. Now, one other thing you can do, this is for lower frequencies, down around 75 meters, and uh, – one of the things that you need to do is maybe make a, a different coil. And how you do that is you take a popsicle stick. Or this happens to be the nail file. And wrap about 100 turns of like number 30 wire. Be sure that when you do this, you scrape off the enamel. Because enameled wire, you won't be able to solder it. But just uh, – I, I usually take a knife blade. But uh, scrape off the uh, – uh, the enamel and make that happen and uh, then you'll be able to uh, to tune the coil this this is going to be better for vhf and up in the frequency what this is going to be good for very very low frequency stuff but um, if you uh, if you're out there trying to make things happen uh, for the vhf then you can use your little rubber duck and that'll work really good Really, really good. But uh, that's what we want to do we, as we get through all of this. We want to make things happen. We want to make sure you understand all of the pictorials, the schematics, and so on. And uh, you'll, uh, you're going to be having more fun building. That's what it's all about. Here is a list of some of the companies that you should go spend some time looking at their sites and get their catalogs. Uh, a couple of them are really, really good. Uh, the uh, Antique Radio 
uh, is just marvelous. Uh, I really like this antique electronic supply. Uh, it's uh, tubesandmore.com. And Gateway Electronics is also wonderful, gateway-electronics. But if you need any tubes at all, the, the best place I find them is a, thing called, a, a site called vacuumtubes.com. Uh, that's WB0SND. And he's really a, a good guy, and he can help you. AM Phone Net, check it out. That'll give you a lot of information about... Uh, AM and, and some of the operations and fun things that we do. So uh, that's where we are now. And um, I'm going to go put a different antenna on this. Maybe when we come back in the Amanda's part, I'll have that fired up because I, I need a, another antenna than that little lead. I'll get that going for you. But uh, there we have it. And uh, it's a good start to what uh, what's going to happen. And uh, uh, here I'll show you. This is what uh, what the next process is going to be. Here's a start of the power supply. Uh, I put this together this afternoon, and uh, here's the power supply using a 6x5 uh, and uh, a regulator or uh, rectifier, and uh, the transformer is a Hammond transformer. See, it's pretty simple. Power supply is very simple, but that little booger will have uh, about 300 watts, and then we're going to have some dropping resistors on it because we won't need that much. Uh, to drive just the one little 12AU7. But that's the power supply part of it, and uh, complete with a uh, jeweled light <laughs> and a switch. And um, uh, the transmitter, here's what the transmitter looks like right here. This is uh, a single tube. It's a 12AU7, and I've talked to Dick several times on this thing recently. He's about, oh, gosh, He's about 200 miles from me, and um, we work him in the mornings, and uh, that's that's it. That's a transmitter, the modulator, the whole bit, and, and it's just very exciting. And uh, the main thing is, uh, it, it's it's all about building. So that's where we are from here. I hope that uh, hope that you get to learn something through the project, even if you don't build it. Uh, that, that you can learn what's going on and, and join us uh, with all the fun that we have uh, on AM or wherever. You can use this on CW also. So there you have it, and I'm really, uh, really excited to get things started, but uh, I want you to join us and have a little bit of fun. <laughs>